If you're wondering what the difference is between leading versus trailing brake shoes, you've come to the right place. Let's get started. When it comes to brake shoes, there are two terms you may come across. Leading brake shoes and trailing brake shoes. These terms refer to the position and function of the brake shoes within a drum brake system. Here's the difference between the two. Leading brake shoes. Leading brake shoes are positioned at the front of the drum brake assembly. They are called leading because they are the first to come into contact with the rotating drum when the brakes are applied. Leading brake shoes have a primary role in initiating the braking process and creating friction against the drum. When you press the brake pedal, the hydraulic pressure pushes the leading brake shoes against the drum, causing the vehicle to slow down or stop. Trailing brake shoes. Trailing brake shoes are positioned at the rear of the drum brake assembly, behind the leading brake shoes. They are called trailing because they follow the leading brake shoes in contacting the drum once the brakes are applied. Trailing brake shoes assist the leading shoes by providing additional friction against the drum to help with braking. As the name suggests, the trailing brake shoes play a secondary role in the braking process. In a drum brake system, both leading and trailing brake shoes work together to create friction against the rotating drum, which slows down or stops the vehicle. The leading shoes take the primary role in initiating the braking action, while the trailing shoes provide additional support. It's worth noting that drum brakes are less common in modern vehicles, as disc brakes are more widely used due to their superior braking performance. However, drum brakes are still found in some older vehicles and certain applications. Design and placement. Leading brake shoes are typically larger in size compared to trailing brake shoes. This design helps provide a stronger initial braking force. Leading brake shoes are positioned closer to the front of the vehicle, while trailing brake shoes are located towards the rear. Brake shoe movement. When the brakes are applied, hydraulic pressure forces the brake shoes to move outward against the drum. The leading brake shoes move first, contacting the drum surface and creating friction to slow down the rotation. As the leading shoes may contact, the trailing shoes follow and provide additional frictional force. If you found this video interesting, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let us know if we missed anything in the comments section. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future.